right now, let's head to Dan in Soto. Yeah, Dan's been talking to some really interesting people all morning. Had a couple of sisters that went to the last Mariner home game with their dad 21 years ago and are back in honor of him this morning. Really good stuff out there, Dan. What's it looking like now? Man, I'll tell you what, there's just so much going on here. We got a lot more people showing up. You remember Zach we talked with? He's still over here. I think he's made a friend, see? So, like, people are making friendships over here. They're saving their spots. You got people lined up over here. They're ready to go. And then over here to my right, you've got Chris Anderson. He is known as the Pike Street Drummer. You've been here for more than 60 home games playing, you say? Yeah, yeah, almost 60 home games. Uh, all the games that are played at home, I try to make as many as I can, you know? You know what I love is, so we're standing here. You're getting all set up. I hear somebody say, hey, Chris. And there's guys up there at the top of the stadium talking to you about all this. How does it feel getting ready for today's game, though? It's got to feel pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, man. So I'm like the first line of uh, inspiration going into the stadium for all the fans. I try to give them as hyped as possible, let them know, you know, our home team needs them. And that fan support um, really transfers onto the field with the players. You know, they feel like, you know, they want to impress the people that's coming to see them. So it's real important, you know. How are you feeling about today's game? Man, I'm, I, man, uh, I'm, I'm always feeling good about the Mariners, man. They always surprise you. They got a lot of heart. You know, they fight. So you, you can never count them out. So yeah. what, what can we expect from you today? What, what is going to be uh, your act? What, what will you be performing? What will you be drumming? So I do a lot of inspirational music. Uh, we do some Earth, Wind, and Fire. We do some, um, some, some ACDC, man. We go across the spectrum. I try to play a lot of music that gets uh, the fans inspired, get their emotions riled up. So when they go into the stands, you know, they're already at that energy level that we need to, you know, bring it home for the win. And you talk about the party after the fact, too. Yeah, so every, every game, even if we win or lose, you know what I'm saying, through the season, fans come out of the stadium and it's a big dance party. You know, music is the uh, universal language, breaks all barriers. You know, I know sometimes DJs have those little signs that say no requests. Right. So let's say somebody walks up to you and says, hey, I like this song. Will you do it? Yeah, I do it for 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's how you do yeah, it. Yeah, that's how you do hey, it. Hey, Chris, thank yeah, you so much. Go. Good to meet you. Let's go, Ibs! Yes, sir. So obviously the energy, fantastic. The fans, amazing. It's going to be a great day. Everybody's having a good time. I hear people chanting or singing. Yeah, they were chanting or singing over there, too. So it's such a good time down here at T-Mobile Park. For now, live down here, Dan Griffin, back to you. Dan.